There you are. Is it recording? I'm recording. I, I got these beautiful lights behind us. You get to see our recording oh, studio. Studio. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Ethan, and this is our first installment of our new video for beer tasting and <laughs> ciders. We're doing beer tasting. We went to Barley Hopsters in downtown Delaware and got a bunch of random beer that we've never tried before. And we, I got it <laughs> based on how pretty the packaging is. Okay. Three, two, one, go! We have MIA Mega Mix. Hell or High Watermelon from 21st Amendment Brewing. Cucumber Sour 10 Barrel Brewing. Mad Moon Hard Cider Unglued Caramel Apple. Crispin Blackberry Pear Hard Cider. I'm gonna stutter. Tangerine Wheat Beer of some sort. I feel like I'm not showing the labels. That was for doing the reviews. Yeah, I know. Uh, Mount Caramel Nut Brown Ale. You're not even drunk yet. <laughs> Just slamming bottles around. Wells Banana Bread Beer. And Sticky Toffee Pudding Ale. <laughs> okay. We're gonna taste them and let you know how it goes. So. I think we should start light and go dark. Okay. So I'm thinking cucumber. Done. Do we need to show the can? First up is Cucumber Sour from Ten Barrel Brewing Company. Ten Barrel Brewing Company. You gonna smell it? I would. It smells like a fart. <laughs> it smells like a cucumbery beer fart. Very this accurate. is a 5.5% alcohol. I lied, it's like 5%. I was reading the wrong one. Only 4 IBUs, so this is not a very bitter beer at all. It's a very summery drink. It's a year-round. That's weird. Are you getting cucumber in there? That must be it. It doesn't taste like cucumber. It tastes fruity, but... If you got cucumbers in there, you can take a bite of one. I wonder if that would make it better, like how you're supposed to use the orange with Blue Moon. I don't know. That's not. I don't like that one. I give it a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10? I'd give it probably a 6. I mean, it, I could probably keep drinking it, but at the moment I'm not going to because we have so many more beers to drink. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pour it back in the can. You're going to pour it back in the can? Should I not? No, that's fine. Okay. I'll eventually start sipping on it. Next up is MIA Mega Mix. <laughs> this is a pale ale. 6%. It it's got a mild. Like, it's supposed um, to have a mild bitter to it. Yes, I know we're not pouring these correctly. It smells like carrots. That's weird. <laughs> and I know we're not pouring them correctly. I know that they're not in the proper glasses and all of that, but we're not going for technicalities. We're going strictly for taste at this point. I don't like it. You don't like it? Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, she doesn't like beer at all, so. This is the fun part. It's all you do. I don't like it. So MIA is new to Ohio as of this year. They are only, we're only in Florida, distributed down there, and we they brought them up here, so that's cool. But you can take it back down for me. I don't want it. I could drink that. It's a little more bitter than I'm used to. I don't drink a lot of IPAs. That's not bad. I'll take, I give that one like a 2 out of 10. I'd give it... I think we're probably seven. I like it better than the cucumber. I like cucumber better. It's because it's not bitter. Exactly. Okay, we're doing hell or high watermelon now. This is supposed to be a watermelon beer. It's a uh, seasonal from 21st Amendment. Ew, that one actually smells like pee. It's got 12 IPUs, so <laughs> it should not be bitter. 4.9% alcohol. It smells like dog piss. That's a very potent smell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gotta go for the double taste. I don't know. It's definitely higher than the other two. I'd give it like a... I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. 
I don't know that I can give any beer 10 out of 10 because I just don't like beer. I like that. I like that one though. I like that. Watermelon beer, who knew? Yeah. It's it not bitter taste at all. Like watermelon. It doesn't <laughs> taste like watermelon. I mean, it might remind me of. It's kind of watermelon, fruity, like, but yeah. it doesn't taste. I can't taste any watermelon to that at all. It's pretty good though, for compared to the other two. <laughs> doesn't have a nasty aftertaste. Um, we're gonna go with tangerine because we're still working on lighter. That actually smells good. It's very oh, it's citrusy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's Lost Coast Tangerine. I think it needs an orange slice in it, though. That's true. It's a wheat beer. Citrusy wheat. 5.5% like alcohol. It's almost like if you put Orange Crush in a beer. I oh, like it smells like it. A little tangerine. Yeah, I could drink that. Mm -hmm. It's I a very it, summery beer. I give that one a 7 out of 10. I'd go 8. For me. I like flavored beers though. I, I like... Mm -hmm. I like... You drink all of that one. We don't drink a lot. Right, we need Dean to come over and help us out with this. That'll be hard. Later. I get to sample a lot more beer than she does. I, I work around beer all day, so... I get the opportunity to try a lot of different stuff. That one smells like dirt in October. <laughs> This is the nut brown ale. A lot darker as you can see. So this one's supposed to have a maple front, a roasted hazelnut follow, and then it's supposed to be rounded off with some very coffee. clean multi balance. Nope, I don't like it. Nope. 38 IBUs, so it you're a little like bit higher. That tastes like an antique store smells. That tastes how an antique store smells. That's Like if very you're sitting there watching, if you're watching like antique road show, mm -hmm. is this something you drink? Mm -hmm. Or if you were in Antique Roadshow. I give it like a 3 out of 10. But it tastes... I mean, I definitely get the, the hazelnut. I like it. I'd drink that. I would drink it probably more during the fall than I would yeah, it's, the summer. It's, I was going to say it smelled... It reminded me of fall. Okay, I'm going to banana bread now. Isn't it kind of interesting how... Higher the IBUs, it still isn't very bitter. Mm -hmm. I was expecting it's maltier. Be... It's got more malty. If I'm wrong on any of this, let me know. I'm still learning. We're both very novice. I don't really like beer, so I don't care that I don't know. I'm glad you're trying now. This is fun. It smells like banana bread. Smell it. Yeah, it smells like bananas. What? You're not disgusted by it. Is it bizarre? I don't like the aftertaste. <laughs> the initial taste tastes like banana bread, but aftertaste is like shitty beer. But all beer is shitty to me, so. Uh, this is weird. I don't like bananas a lot. And. I like banana bread. Like, banana bread is okay once in a while. Yeah, it's not my favorite thing, but I will eat it. So, this is... Did you taste uh, it? I, I am a second. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of beer on my palate, so... Yeah, I like... So, this banana bread beer is a 5.2%. Wells has been around since 1876. They give it a 3 out of 5 on the bitter and 3 out of 5 on the sweetness. It is sweet. Yeah. Kind of makes me want some banana bread, though. I would like a banana bread. Thing. I don't like it. It does taste like banana bread. Beer, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like banana bread. So, banana bread in liquid form <clears throat> is not any better so than banana we, bread. We next one. Moves. That smells really sweet. So this is the next one. Another one from Wells. We, sticky toffee pudding ale. Yeah, we went ahead and... That smells like coffee. That smells good. So, two things England is known well for is their traditional ales and pudding. I like the aftertaste, ew. <laughs> the initial taste is pretty good, but the 5%, aftertaste is, ew. 5% on the alcohol. It has a good aftertaste. It goes from, like, coffee to beer to coffee. Yeah, that's not bad. 
I couldn't drink a lot of that. No, I definitely won't be finishing it, but... No, yeah, it's, uh... I don't mind it. And I if I was going to drink it, I would be drinking it in the winter. Only one of them. And probably sitting in front of a fire. Because that's just what I get from that. A warmer... If I was going to be drinking it, I wouldn't be drinking it. I'd have it in my hand, but not drinking it. You'd be just over there just... Yeah, that'd be me. Acting like you're drinking it, pouring it into the grass. Yep. That makes sense. <coughs> Ew. I'm not big on tasting new things. So this is Mad Moon. Local. Cidery. Warm. Warm? It's warm. <laughs> So this is 6% alcohol. This is actually higher than all the beers that we've tried, but it's cider. I like the, the label on it. It's really pretty. I just taste cider. Had a weird, like, it's sort got, of aftertaste. It's got a caramel and vanilla in there. Maybe that's what I'm and tasting. And the crispness of apple. I'm gonna go with crisp now. I feel like that's what I'm actually gonna like. Well, yeah, because it's fruity. It's not beer, and that was twist up. It came off. <laughs> You're like, I'm just gonna drink in the bottle. No. Nah, I don't know that I'm gonna like this one. I thought I was going to, but I don't know. It smells kind of like pee, but they all do, so I don't know. It smells like fruity pee. I don't know. <laughs> wow, that actually does smell like fruity pee. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. So blackberry pear from hard, from hard set. So blackberry pear from Crispin tastes like wine. It really does. But it's gluten free. So you just have to like plug your nose when you drink it, so you don't smell the fruity penis of it, because it doesn't taste like fruity pee. <laughs> the fruity penis of it. <laughs> the fruity penis of it. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> You said that? No. You're like, <laughs> I'm drunk. The fruity penis of it. I get it now. Any final thoughts? final thoughts? We have this whole list of things that we're supposed to do. Well, let's go over our list. What's our list say? Would you drink again? Honestly, all of it? No. <laughs> um, I would drink. I would drink the nut brown. I would drink the. The MIA and Hell or High Water melon. I would drink the tangerine. Yeah, the tangerine I would drink again. I would probably keep drinking it if I knew which one it was. Um, I could probably find out. I think I'd drink Crispin again, maybe. That one's not bad. Oh, my mouth tastes so bad. Uh. Mm -hmm. I have just a clip of all our burps. Looks. Well, we definitely picked up bottles that have an interesting look. I really like Mad Moon. It's shiny. I do like MIA, and on their website they do have a lot of loud colors, and I think that's pretty, pretty neat, pretty so retro. So 80s looking. Yeah. Uh, hell, I always like 21st Amendment. They always use some very, you know, cool labels or. This one wasn't bad. I would probably drink. Because it doesn't really taste like anything. But seriously, like if we went to Barley Hopsters again, I don't think I would drink any of these. No. Probably not. I'd probably just get like an angry orchard or something. Oh, uh, the cucumber one I will not drink again. No. I don't think I would ever, I if I had an option, I would not. Least favorite is definitely Mega Mix. Open wide. <laughs>